Welcome back, boys and girls. Today we are going to be doing a read aloud called Farmer Brown Shears His Sheep, A Rule About Wool. Uh, this book is by Terry Slot, and it is illustrated, meaning the pictures were drawn by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Farmer Brown was shearing sheep, piling up a snowy heap of wool that filled his barn knee deep. Clip clap, buzz buzz, he took their wool and left them buzz. What do you guys think that means? Left them buzz? Bear maybe? Without their wool? He filled his bags up with fleece, but when his work was done, clouds have covered up the sun. The sheep saw all their wool in sacks. Bah! They cried. We want it back. Do you think this book rhymes? Tell your parents. Soon the farmer's sheep were shivering. They followed him. He was delivering all their wool to Mr. Green. Who washed it out and cleaned it clean. Comb hole, comb hole. He cleaned and carded all their wool. Their fleece made such a fluffy stack. Ah, they cried. We want it back. They gotta be really cold. Imagine if you were left outside with no jacket anywhere in short sleeves. That's what they must be like. The sheep went running, cold and shaking. Behind the farmer, he was taking all their wool to Mr. Peel. Who owned the finest spinning wheel? By the way, boys and girls, a spinning wheel, which is right here, they have little tips, and you put a little piece of yarn on it, I mean, or wool, and it spins it really fast, and it makes it into this, like, long, stringy stuff right here. I'm going to see if I'll see it on the wall. Twist Tom, twist Tom. What had their fluffy fleece become? From fleece to yarn, it stretched and changed. Bah! They cried. Our fleece looks strange. Chilly sheep with goosebumps crying rode right behind the farmer flying down the road to Mrs. Miller. Who changed the yarn from white to color? Dip dry, dip dry. The yarn grew bright before their eyes. What's this? The farmer asked his sheep. You're tangled up from head to feet. You're shivering cold and turning blue. So t turning blue is usually just a statement or um a phrase to explain that they're really cold and they look like they're really cold. Okay. So back to Farmer Brown's they flew. Knit pearl, knit pearl. The farmer's fingers looped and twirled. He found his favorite place to sit. Then Farmer Brown began to knit. Crowded on the porch together, trembling in the nippy weather, they watched him knit, and when he quit, okay, so he didn't really quit, it was just basically what he was doing. He put a sweater on to fit each sheep, and then he buttoned it. So, why do you think it 
took so long for Farmer Brown to realize that his sheep were cold. And why do you think he was so nice and used all that wool that he could have easily gotten a lot of money for and made his sheep that way? He made them sweaters. Play your cards. The sheep grew nice and warm again in brightly colored cardigans in patterns of made from red and green and all the colors in between. Now each year, come shearing time, the sheep wait eagerly, eagerly in line to feel the clip and hear the buzz, meaning their wool is getting shaved off, and wear bright sweaters over the hops. Okay, thank you boys and girls for listening to today's Read Aloud. I hope you enjoy today's book. And make sure to answer the questions. Alright, have a good day.